I thought I'd heard it all on the space pantomime scene. <laughs> Two months ago, I did a video highlighting that there's a big push now that you can go to space in a balloon. If that wasn't bad enough, the silliness now has gone next level. Now they're pushing space station balloons. Look! Space Station took 60 launches and 100 billion dollars to make. Absolutely criminal. That much money spent on this ISS. And it's a fraud. They show pictures of the Earth being a ball, so you instantly know it's a fraud. The money they've spent on that, think what that could have gone towards. That really would have benefited mankind directly not through some fantasy and they've even got the cheek to show the air fix bog roll inspired iss space shuttle docking footage here love it unless we make usable space in space a lot less expensive and much much larger humanity's future in space will remain limited let me just stop you there young man no one has gone to a place of a vacuum OK, which means no one's gone to space, as you put it. Space society has been a vacuum. We live in an air pressure system. To go to a vacuum would require going for a solid wall. So no one's gone to space. Does the vacuum of space exist? I don't know. I don't know. But it would seem the fact this balloon push now with the tag of space is highlighting that space is simply high altitude. And this space station balloon is just pure mockery. My first company, Made in Space, pioneered the first in-space manufacturing. But I quickly realized if we were ever going to bring real commercialization to space, we needed a lot more volume. Expandables are the only comprehensive solution that allowed this to be possible. And no one in the world knows space expandables better than Maxim. I built the first two inflatable, deployable spacecraft, Genesis 1 and 2, and they're still circling the globe to this day. Bless you for thinking that, mate. You actually probably genuinely believe that. But I hate to break it to you. The Earth isn't a ball in a vacuum. Fact. Despite the success, we needed still a much bigger size. We developed a proprietary expandable architecture. It decomposes the pressure shell into discrete, uncoupled structural elements. It means that we can double, triple, put... Blah, 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 blah. It's a balloon. Triple the size of our architecture with full predictability. I want to see a balloon in a vacuum. I want to see a miniature scale of your space station balloon here with the music playing, if you like. And I want to see it in a vacuum chamber. I want to see how it holds out. I want to see how the design takes into account the factors that are the vacuum. That this thing is going to expand and supposedly survive within. Expandables at max space are safer and stronger than standard metallic architecture. We've tested our modules to the limit. We exploded them, launched projectiles at them, vibe tested, vacuum tested, exposed them to space's harshest conditions. I just saw a very quick clip there of a balloon blowing up in what I presume was the vacuum. So <laughs> I presume that was how the test went, was it? <laughs> just ridiculous. Our max space modules are bigger, easier to manufacture, and more scalable than other systems. We just finished our full fidelity ground unit and are now building our flight unit, which will be the largest expandable habitat to ever go to space. The cost of launching to space is dropping dramatically. But without access to more volume, the potential of space remains out of our grasp. Our mission is to unlock a new frontier for humanity. This will enable new drugs to be created in space. Revolutionary... No, don't worry about creating drugs in a place that doesn't exist. Spend that money here on Earth. And why don't we go back to old school ways, looking at 
old school remedies rather than paraffin based medicine. Oh dear. Base farming technologies, removing heavy industries' limitations on Earth, and a new type of entertainment. Everything we do stems from one goal. More volume, less cost. I don't know where they get these characters from. They're hilarious, really. I mean, check him out. And a new type of entertainment. Everything we do stems from one goal. More volume. Pure pantomime character. Pure pantomime. Volume, less cost. We get orders of magnitude, more volume. Per rocket. That means one ISS at less than one percent of the cost. Max space. Oh, so this incredible balloon space station's cheap. Cheaper than the ISS. <sighs> well, the ISS was an astronomical cost. This is just cartoon and fantasy. If this ever does come true, you don't need a rocket, just a basket and a balloon. High altitude. There you go. This was created to maximize space in space in a way that's never been possible before. Just ridiculous. You gotta laugh really at how desperate these people are. Show me tests of your your balloon space station in a vacuum. Let me see how you take into account with your design factors the environment. Let me see the expansion within the vacuum. Didn't see any of that, just saw like a quick clip of something blowing up. Doesn't really bode well, even for the fantasists at this point in time. Ridiculous desperation here from a dying, dying belief system. It's bizarre. People think reality is exactly the opposite to what can be tested and verified by all. They justify it by space. And then when you look at space, it's just as I keep saying. Mockery.